guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. My dog's barking. <laughs> if you're new, my name is Nastasia. Um, today we are talking about shows and movies that I refuse to watch or have watched and wish I hadn't and will not watch again. So the reason I'm making this video is one, not to tell you what to do, because I know that's where the hate comments are going to go. You can't tell people what to watch and not to watch. I'm not. I'm telling you what I'm not watching, and I'm sharing with uh, you guys what some of you on my Instagram have said that you refuse to watch. Some of these things I will explain why and go into detail. Some of them I won't, and I'm going to let you kind of draw your conclusions. And some of them I'm just going to read the description of the show or movie, and maybe you can draw your own conclusions. The reason I'm doing this is because I encourage you to research yourself the media you're consuming. So before we get into it, if you end up liking this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss out on a video every time I post. My Instagram is right here, um, where I do polls like this and ask questions like this to get your guys' input for my videos um, and the behind the scenes of my life and stuff like that. So let's get started. Why is media so important? Well, we consume media most of our life. You know, nowadays you can spend upwards of hours and hours and hours on your phone, on social media, on YouTube, on watching TV, listening to music or podcasts or whatever. It pretty much consumes our entire life now which can be a good thing or a bad thing. From the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. So if you are filling your mind and your heart with these things, you will start reflecting those things because that's what you're consuming. So I made a little list um, first of things that you guys said that you refuse to watch and you didn't really give me insight and that's okay, I didn't ask for it, of why, um, some of you did, but a lot of you did not, you just listed the show and that's fine. So I'm just gonna list these off and some of them I had already thought of, some of them I didn't. Um, so you draw your own conclusions about this. Somebody said anything horror, like horror movies, but specifically hereditary. Um, this was on my list too. The reason that I had it on mine, I don't know if it was the same for her, but the reason I had it on mine is I started watching this with Kai because horror movies never really, in the past few years, haven't really bothered me. Um, but with this one, uh, he felt like I don't want to watch this anymore and I was fine with that so he's turned it off and um, I have this weird thing where I still like to know the endings of movies like to feel closure even if I'm not gonna watch it so I looked up the ending and it is gruesome I don't recommend you looking it up um, but if you have watched this movie or you know the ending you know what I'm talking about it is all evil and nothing good um, just very very disturbing um, somebody said, a lot of you actually said Game of Thrones. This was also on my list. Um, there's just a lot of, just a lot of bad things in that. Um, somebody said 90% of Netflix. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> um, a few people said Grey's Anatomy, which I hadn't thought of, but quite a few of you said Grey's Anatomy. Um, quite a few of you said 13 Reasons Why. Um, the Vampire Diaries. American Horror Story, which is also on my list. I used to watch it a lot. And then I'll go into later why I don't. Um, Shameless, I also used to watch that and I don't know what I was thinking. There is so much wrong with that show. Is it entertaining? Of course it is, but for all the wrong reasons. Orange is the New Black, also a show I refused to watch. Um, Witcher, I hadn't thought of that. I hadn't my eyes twitching. <laughs> I haven't watched that, so I don't know what it's about. Supernatural, um, Harry Potter, True Blood, Black Mirror, Fifty Shades of Grey, Euphoria, Riverdale, The Secret, which is about law of attraction. I see you. Good for you. Uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, the new one. Oh, I'm going to go into that in a little bit. Scandal and the Fosters. So that is the list of what a lot of you guys had said. I think there were more. I just didn't write them all down. Um, and some of those were on my list as well. So I want to go into a couple specific shows that were not listed on this, or maybe that were, but give a little bit more detail as to why I refuse to watch them. And when I say I refuse to watch them, it's because for me, it infringes on my faith and I don't feel like they are honoring to God. And I feel like I feel dirty watching them, I guess. It's, it's, it doesn't align with my faith. 
So I talked about Game of Thrones um, and Hereditary, um, American Horror Story, going into that one. I watched it because I do find like spiritual warfare and stuff very interesting and it doesn't scare me. Um, but I have to be careful that I don't get so involved with learning about it that I learn more about the dark than I do the light. American Horror Story got really dark. It was just, you ended up at some points rooting for the evil people and rooting for the witches over the non-witches and it just, I realized, I caught myself and I was like, why am I watching this? This is not edifying or glorifying to God. Shameless, I, I mentioned that, but you guys, don't watch Shameless. Don't, don't. There's nothing about it that's glorifying to God. Literally nothing. And I, <laughs> I don't care how many of you come in the comments of like, well, you can't just watch things glorifying to God. Why? So you're gonna go out of your way to watch things that are completely tearing God apart, like with, you know, blasphemous wise, and that's okay with you as a Christian. Orange is the New Black, quite a few reasons I'm not okay with that show. I won't really get into it, but quite a few reasons. Um, And then on my list of things that I won't watch again. Um, personally, one of them for me, and I know this is gonna be the most controversial one in this video, Kai and I will not be watching Harry Potter. And I actually did used to have, I used to watch them all. Um, they were fun for me and like hearing the music and stuff, it was like, it was cool for me. Um, this is one of those things that I personally believe could be a weaker brother, stronger brother thing. I just don't feel good promoting witchcraft because that is what it is. They're witches and warlocks. Um, and I know some of you could say, yeah, but it's just fun. And okay, you know, you answer to God. You don't answer to me. Um, for me personally, for Kai and I personally, we will not be watching Harry Potter and we won't have it in our house with our kids. And as our kids grow up, they get to make their own decisions as they're adults. But that's not me. I'm actually giving away all my Harry Potter books um, because I don't feel comfy <laughs> um, being against witchcraft and then endorsing that. Euphoria, I haven't actually, I don't know a ton about it. Actually, let's, let's look up the definition of that. This is from hbo.com slash euphoria. This is the summary for the show. Euphoria is an American teen drama television series, um, I just stumbled over all my words there, series created by Sam Levinson, loosely based on the Israeli miniseries mini of the same name. Euphoria follows a group of high school students through their experiences of sex, drugs, friendship, love, identity, and trauma. The series stars in Zendaya and premieres on HBO, blah, 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 blah. And I don't know a ton about it, but I've heard from other people, do not watch it. It is not okay to watch. So I'm going to go off of that. <laughs> Another show. Whew. This show is the one that inspired this whole video. Sabrina the Teenage Witch, the new one, not the old one. Although I probably wouldn't watch the old one nowadays anyway, but the new one is just a whole freaking trip. Mm. I'm gonna link below a short video of that I think perfectly depicts why I will not watch this show. So I encourage you to go watch that link, like click on that link and watch that. It's a scene from the show. This show goes even way beyond praising witchcraft. It praises the devil himself. Not okay. Absolutely not okay. <laughs> There's literally a scene, which is the one I'm linking below, where Sabrina, like, the devil in, just freaking possesses her and tells them to bow to Lucifer and makes him the good guy. And the people who won't are the bad guys in this show. You know what, you answer to God, not me, but I don't know how you can be a Christian and watch this and not feel any kind of guilt in that. It's, oh my goodness. If I was to go to the mat against a show, it would be this one. The Fosters is another one. Um, sorry if my dog's barking, I can't make him stop. The Fosters is another one that I have watched a few episodes of and I just couldn't. I couldn't do it. There is just, it's one of those shows that I'm like, Oh man, it just made me mad with how many things I just didn't agree with in it. 
and that it was pushing so hard and making Christians look bad and all this stuff and I just couldn't do it. I, I just couldn't do it. Alright, and now on to a list of a couple that um, haven't been said yet. <sighs> Big Mouth. This is a bad one too. I'm going to link down below a link for this one as well of the like trailer for this show. Um, if you are below the age of, I don't know, 17, I guess, please do not watch the link that I'm going to have down below. Please don't. Um, there's so much bad in it. It is disgusting. I... no. Mm -mm. Nope. I will never watch that. It doesn't even try to hide it. And there are... it's a cartoon, but the cartoons in this show are children. They're supposed to be children doing these things. I don't know how somebody doesn't see that as honestly just a complete disregard for raising our children, right? I don't know how somebody can depict cartoon children in this way. I don't care if they're cartoons. You're still depicting children in this way. And disgusted by that show. Disgusted that anybody would write these things. Um, absolutely not. And that's not me yelling at you if you have watched it. That's me yelling at the people who created this and think it's okay. Um, another show I will note, and I'm not going to go into why, because I want you to research it and I want you to figure it out. I will not and I have not ever watched the show Queer Eye. Um, not going to. So I will also never, ever, ever watch the show Lucifer. Guys. Oh my gosh. Ah, this is another one. <laughs> I'm not judging you and your heart. I'm not. Because if you're a child of God, everything is washed clean and you are his. And I've watched shows before that I look back and I'm like, oh man, I wish I hadn't done that. Like, forgive me, Lord. But eh, how can you watch the show Lucifer? How? How can you watch it and not have any guilt? towards the fact that this show is trying to make the devil look like the good guy. How? How can you watch a show where you are rooting for the devil? You are rooting for this guy who is attractive and falls in love and all... Can you please tell me how this is a good idea ever for a Christian to watch? Okay, I just, I just want to know. This one, no. Um, here's a movie that I watched and totally regret watching. It's called um, In the Tall Grass or Into the Tall Grass. It's on Netflix and it's based on a novel by Stephen King. Please, I am not recommending any of you watch this movie. I'm not. It's um, supposed to be a scary movie, um, but it got bad reviews. So I, my friends and I kind of thought, oh, well, it's probably one of those movies that's so not scary that it's funny. And that was the goal in that. <laughs> No, it got bad reviews because it is really gruesome and disturbing. And I'm not talking just gore. I'm talking like feeding children to people. Please don't watch this movie. I don't know how that's okay to be on Netflix. I don't know how that's okay anywhere. Oh my gosh. I don't Anyway, that's the only show or that movie literally disturbed me to my core so much that I stopped watching scary movies. And scary movies didn't bother me at all. And after that, I was like, no, no more. I don't I don't I don't need that. Please don't watch that movie. It will just disturb you. It's disgusting and I don't think it's okay. And while it wasn't trying to make it seem like it's okay, again, I don't think that those kind of concepts ever need to be in a movie. I just don't. I don't think it needs to happen. Two more shows that I used to watch and I won't anymore. And I even knew when I was watching them years ago that I shouldn't be watching them and I did anyway. It was is Family Guy and South Park. Um, you could argue, yeah, but they make fun of everybody. But when is that? That's still not okay. And there is so much blasphemy in that, especially in South Park. And I literally think there was an episode in South Park or something where they made, or maybe it was Family Guy, one of them, where they made Jesus gay. Like, no, this isn't, 
mm -mm, no, and I used to watch them thinking like, well, it's just, it's just funny, it's not whatever, but I was just making excuses, I knew it wasn't good, um, and I just don't think it's ever good to be watching shows, even if it doesn't make fun of you personally, if it's making fun of a group of people in such a tasteless way, like, I don't think that's good for your soul. Um, another thing I want to point out, I don't have specific names of things, but if there's ever movies or shows that are supposed to be depicting, like, biblical concepts or just literally trying to be like a live action remake of the Bible, I do very thorough research because it is easy to twist that. Um, and so I, I don't want to fall into that trap um, and I don't want to be endorsing things that aren't honoring to God and aren't accurate. So surprisingly, there's a lot of like Bible-based shows or movies or something like that that I won't watch because they're not accurate to scripture, which I don't understand. Like it's literally written for you. Like the script is there. It's literally the Bible. <laughs> like you don't have to, that's making more work for yourself. But um, like certain things I, I, I don't agree with um, that just twist scripture and uh, aren't accurate. And not all uh, movies or TV shows that are trying to depict, you know, either Christ's life or the Bible or something, not all of them are, you know, false. And some of them, I try to leave room for just human error in the fact that, like, I make mistakes all the time and I try to correct my mistakes as much as possible. Um, it's just the heart behind it. If there, if I do my research and realize that somebody is making these things that are, that isn't even a Christian, I'm like, well then how, how do I expect it to be accurate and say, and not try to twist that? You know what I mean? Um, and just different things like that. I just try to do my research. I encourage you guys to do the exact same thing. I know you're thinking, well, that's such a drag to research everything, but like, it's kind of worth it. Um, and nobody said being a Christian would be easy. And if somebody did, they're trying to sell you something or they're lying to you. Like, it's not, it's not easy. It's worth it. Um, so anyway, that is a list of some movies and TVs. I'm, I might do a part two of this at some point because I know I, there's more that I can't think of. Um, and that's not saying that I approve of every other show that I didn't list. I just can't think of them right now. So um, I'm ready for the hate comments. I'm ready for you all to say, you can't tell people what to watch. I'm not. <laughs> um, these are things that I will not watch and sharing some things that you guys said you won't watch either. So I love you guys. You know, um, look into everything you're consuming. It's important. It really is. And in the future, I might do either artists I refuse to listen to or songs I refuse to listen to or books I refuse to read or something like that. Um, again, not to like say you're a horrible person if you're watching or listening or whatever to this to tell you that this is where I've slipped up before. This is where I got pulled into these things before and I'm trying to not, like, I'm trying to help you not make those mistakes that I made. So, I love you guys so much and I will see you soon. Oh, oh, I forgot to even mention, comment down below, what are some shows that you refuse to watch or movies you refuse to watch um, that either conflict with your faith or you just don't feel good watching them? I would love to know down below. So, I'll see you soon. Bye guys.